Alright, here we are with more Mega Man Maker. Today we'll be playing through Mega Man Reboot Part 1, created by Tyler Bot, with 24 plays and a score of neutral. Thanks to me, I did that. Oh, what? Okay, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> okay, apparently it's plus one now. Okay, but yeah, um, as you can see, I already played through the stage. Um, I actually played through the whole stage. Uh, so yeah, uh, this will not be uh, this will not be a blind playthrough, and this is going to probably take another 40, 50 seconds to load because it's a very big stage. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and talk over this. Um, uh, yeah, I, I played the whole stage, and when I sat down to edit it today, I noticed that there was a lot of echoing, like sound reverberating of the bolster. So yeah. I really want to re-record this so that the sound quality is a bit better. Um, it did not just turn out all that well. Yeah, so here we are. So unfortunately, I will already be knowing what I'm doing here. The, you know, I also actually had, <laughs> like, I have already recorded the second part too, and I can already say uh, I had some issues there too. Uh, but yeah, I only played through partially, you know, a segment there in that video. So yeah. That will be mostly blind, thankfully. But yeah, this stage here, I definitely completely botched up. So yeah, um, yeah, I'll be knowing 100% what I'm doing in this stage. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just try and talk about what I initially saw when I came in here and what I reacted to. Like here we have the Cutman or Cutter stage. You know, this is the one I started with in the original playthrough. And yeah, you, you have the eggs coming down here, and you even have some lumber here, you know, chopped up. So you know, that's very nice visual cue there, I guess you could say. And yeah, we had these saw guys down here as well. So it's very fitting, you know, for a cutting or a lumber mill kind of place, I guess you could say. Now that I've played through the stage already once, I guess I could try and do a little bit better and not take so much damage because, yeah, I do... Yeah, this here is very cheesable. <laughs> but yeah, I do recall you can take, or I took quite a bit of damage here on my first try, but yeah. Already I am doing quite a bit better here, I have to say. Let's see here, let's just pay attention. There we go. Nice, okay, excellent dodging, excellent. Okay, we need the bombs in here, okay. Yeah, see, that's at least there's that. Like, I don't remember, you know, every little thing here. Like, I'm still going to have to <laughs> refigure things shit out here, you know. Yeah, re refigure things out. <laughs> Jeez, man, I'm just tumbling, stumbling all over my words, as per usual. Traditional Nicholas style. <laughs> oh yeah, this room here is also pretty cool. Um, <laughs> we have yeah, we have the lumber all chopped up and done in here. And yes, yeah, as, as I already talked about. Um, whoa! <laughs> wow, that I find it okay. But yeah, um, I definitely, man, <laughs> I definitely like the two other paths better than the cut path here. I feel like, you know, it doesn't really have too much gimmicky usage going on here. I mean, I guess the spine and the enemies are supposed to be the gimmick. Uh, I, I realize that, but yeah, I, I definitely enjoy the two other paths the most. And I like, I'm not saying, oh, this is a bad path. <laughs> you know, <laughs> definitely not. That's definitely not what I'm saying. I just say like, you know, when I'm playing a tighter bot stage, you know, the expectations are set quite high, you know, so that's why I'm a little bit picky here, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, actually here we have the treadmills here, so yeah, I guess this here will be the gimmick coming down into here. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I actually completely forgot about the treadmills in here. <laughs> but yeah, I would probably say that the bomb section is, you know, my favorite part in here. Like, I remember that, that was very exciting, you know, very hard. But yeah, like, yeah, it was cool to traverse that path, I definitely recall that. Uh, and the Elec path too, you know, very cool, very Yoko block heavy, very reminiscent of your some of your older stages. And dude, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm just taking hits all over the place now. Sloppy hits, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, it's actually kind of funny. I've seen you like use that term, somebody. No. Oh my god, I've seen you use my, you know, I'm taking sloppy hits. Uh, phrase there sometimes on the forum, Tyler. <laughs> it's always, yeah, kind of funny when you bring it up. Eh? But yeah, coining, I'm coining the term, taking sloppy hits here. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, wow. Okay, but yeah. 
Uh, what was I even talking about? I started stumbling all over my... <sighs> I started stumbling all over my words and I forgot what I was discussing there a while back. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> you know, on the subject of English, like, it's so annoying, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a Swedish guy, uh, as I'm sure you know, and like, as soon as I start speaking in English, like, it's so hard, <laughs> it's so hard not to trip over the words. It's so hard for me, like, I can't, I can't speak normally, I, I sound like a freaking, I sound like an idiot at times. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh. Okay, either way, we have Cutman here, a very appropriate boss for this area here, and this boss room actually makes him very dead, I noticed on my first playthrough, I actually died here. <laughs> Of course, I came in with less health than I have now, but yeah, if you get him up here, yeah, in a nice little pattern, like, on the top or middle rung here, like, you can, yeah, you can just deal some really good damage to him, like, just bait him up and, you know, start pounding away at him there, but yeah, definitely quite a bit deadlier than a regular path there, with Cutsman there. Yeah, I'm definitely getting this, because I recall in the... <laughs> bomb section here, I did get to use it quite a bit uh, on my first playthrough, but yeah, also I think oh, <laughs> Once again on my first playthrough I went into the electric uh, place or section after I did the cutman section um, This time I'll probably go in here first because in here we get the bomb power-up and the bomb power-up can be used so You know, we're go basically we're going to have to backtrack um, so I really want to get this over and done with first so that I can backtrack to the cutman section and, you know, destroy the barrier in there, and, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I really like this room, like, looks very clean, very simple, very clean, nice blue or cyan, no, not cyan, what's that color? I don't really know, Co cobalt, perhaps, I I I'm not sure, it's a nice, nice dark blue kind of background there, it's definitely not cobalt, but yeah. Ooh, okay, I just took item one out there just in case I needed it. But yeah, look at this. This is very intense. Oh, you actually need bombs here too, but this is probably only going to lead back to the light lab there. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely need to get, go, <laughs> go in here. <laughs> very nice. That was some nice reaction there by me, if I do say so myself. Actually very similar to the first plate, right? Pretty much handled it in the same fashion. Whoa. Okay, this is not great for me. Oh man, dude. That was very bad of me. I actually played that better on my first playthrough. <laughs> Believe it or not. There we go. Whoa. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Very cool. There we go. Yes, nice. Managed to slide under him. Man, dude, that was... That was awesome. Oh, wow. Dude, now we gotta... Reset that part up there. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is some really fun platforming. Right now I'm sucking at it, though, but... <laughs> Let's try and do this guy the same way that we did before. Nope, not like that. Try again. Shoot and jump. Well, he did not trigger. Up, oh, slide under. Wow, dude, that's so cool. Okay, there, finally. <laughs> Took us long enough. Yeah, this here is probably the hardest um, section of them all. Like, it's very tight platforming. You don't have very much time. You, you just gotta make split second decisions. Basically, it's what it's coming down to. And yeah, of course, these guys, you know, <laughs> they're quite hard to deal with. They are, yeah, they can very easily damage you and yeah, you. Yeah, you just gotta know how to deal with them. But yeah, like, very nice finisher here too, with the cannons bobbing up and down. Oh yeah, I actually <laughs> completely forgot about this room. Yeah, I remember this. Whoa, okay, okay, here. Do this. Okay, <laughs> the buster would have been better there. <laughs> okay, very nice, very nice. Oh yeah, and this here. This here is like, this is the boss from... Blast Furnace, I believe. I believe this old stage that we just passed through is like very, very reminiscent of Blast Furnace. Um, if that's the name of the stage I'm thinking of. I remember, 
black. <laughs> I remember back when I played that stage, um, that the boss room here did not have those two center Cossack platforms. Not Cossack there. Crashman, Crashlift platforms. The original stage did not <laughs> did not have these two crash lifts circulating there. And neither did we have spikes in the bottom, so that, you know, bomb mass bombs would basically just go on through and yeah, there would be no explosion, you know, triggering from bomb in there. Damn, <laughs> yeah. Dude, the commentary has been so bad here. I hope it's not a major issue. Whew, okay. And I screwed up. Dang it! I wanted to backtrack, but I completely forgot about it. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, now I'm playing really bad here. But yeah, like, what else is there to talk about? Um, yeah, the, this section is also pretty neat. We have some nice... Yeah, this, here, this room is one of my favorite rooms here. Like, shoot these two so that they won't pest you. And then you shoot that guy again. Yeah, like, very nice um, fluid movement there in that room. You know, nothing too dangerous with it, but it's, yeah, it's very nice when you pull it off, you know, correctly, I guess you could say. It's a very nice room to, you know, just move on through there. But yeah, like, I definitely enjoy the second part of these two stages, like, like, how should I say, B both both stages are very well crafted. There, that's not a that's there is nothing to say about that. You know, <laughs> I was saying like the the freaking ice stage. You know, in the second part, that's just yeah, that one is yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll see, you'll see. That one is really cool to move on through. Probably one of my favorite. Well, I probably say it's my favorite section or favorite stage that Tyler has built till today. That ice section was really yeah, really a lot of fun to play through. And yeah, like, these stages too are very well crafted, especially this here, the electric uh, stage and the bomb stage. I just thought the cut stage was a little bit bland, you know, in comparison to these two here. And once again, you know, I'm just being picky because we're playing a tighter bot stage here, and you know, he he generally can handle criticism, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, oh my god. But yeah, like, these two sections felt like they had more fleshed out gimmicks, you know, with the Yoko blocks and the time bombs, whereas the cut segment felt a little bit more, um, you know, yeah, a little bit more on the bland side, you know. It still had nice visuals and nice enemy placements and, you know, all of that good stuff, but yeah, I still feel like it felt, it felt a little bit like it was mostly you and the enemies and not too much interaction with gimmick items. But yeah, that's just me though. Overall, like, this here is a very cool stage. But yeah, man, I can't wait to <laughs> upload the second part. That's, yeah, that's where the truly good stuff awaits, you know. <laughs> and then, dude, he's just screaming me. Oh yeah, and you know what? An another funny thing happened here in my original playthrough. He actually bugged out in the walls three times straight, this guy. Like, it was just ridiculous. He would not stop doing it. He would always get stuck up in stop he would always get stuck up in the corners it was quite annoying <laughs> quite funny quite annoying <laughs> but yeah that's another very memorable memorable thing about my first play trailer but yeah i won't be uploading that i don't think i could upload it but maybe i'll just do it privately for tyler then if you for whatever reason would like to see my first playthrough but yeah the video quality was not great in that one but yeah i still have the video and the audio left there so in case for whatever reason you would like to see it like i could definitely upload it and show it to you privately if you'd like me to um but yeah once again like the sound reverberation or whatever the english word is <laughs> like it did not come out very well at all yeah oh yeah this this section here too never mind this here is also very cool i like this part here too and i actually <laughs> despawned the electric guy there <laughs> that's a shame but yeah, this here part is pretty cool too. Like, we have more of these electelis here, and yeah. Yeah. I just really like these sections when, you know, interacting with these guys. And, you know, just shooting them as you go. Like, I don't know, it's just a nice, very nice flow to it. Oh my goodness, oh my god, I was going to jump down there to deal with this. 
little fucker, but you know. <laughs> Accidentally fell down. You know, I should have just shot him from here. That was my bad. <laughs> I did not think that out uh, the correct way. Actually, I, al I also found myself using special weapons a lot more during the second stage. I feel like the first one is a little bit easier than the second one. The second one is definitely harder, I would probably say. Like, my first recording of this stage, uh, I think it was around 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, the second stage almost took me <laughs> 40 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, like, yeah. Uh, this this one is definitely quite a bit easier. Yeah, like the freaking construction site or whatever construction section in the sec in the second stage. That was just yeah, that was really cool too. I remember that one being pretty hard. The fire stage, no, <laughs> who can forget that? That was really hard too. And yeah, of course the final eye section, probably the hardest, but yeah, also the coolest. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I should probably stop talking about that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Let's just move on through here. You know, maybe we should do the backtracking. You do get an M tank if you do some backtracking here. I think it was here. I'll just cut back in a second. See you. Yeah, see you in a bit. Alright, here we are. I found the bomb. Bombable wall. Yeah, and that's that's what I was looking for. The freaking key there. Um there is another secret path up here that will lead you to an M tank. I think it was in the electric page. In the electric page. In the electric section there. Um, I'll go look for it, sure. See you in a sec. Oh yeah, I actually remember something now that I wanted to show you. There. You can actually kill these guys here. With the freaking electricity here. Which is very awesome. Yeah. I remember <laughs> talking about that now too in my first playthrough there. Um, yeah, I really need to go and test that out and see if you can kill these guys with other electricity weapons, but yeah. Anyway, so I'm back here in the time bomb section. I actually went to, you know, I went to the electric path there, but yeah, the path I needed to open was not over there, so that's why I'm back here now and you know, I just did this real quick cut back here just to show off that you could actually kill these guys there because I think it's worth pointing out but yeah I'll cut out again oh nice I actually found it here it is oh my god it was just a path back here oh my dude seriously Nick oh I went and did all of that for nothing oh, oh man I wonder why that path is there anyway Maybe, um, yeah, maybe you, maybe Tyler has the, <laughs> has the answers, Tyler has the answers perhaps. Um, there might be some thing with that that I don't just get with that teleporter there. Ooh, so I'll, I'll let, ooh, yeah, I'll let Tyler point it out. Um, anyway, let's see here what we have here for the final section. Of course I have already played it, so dang it, dude, that was sloppy, Wait, that was poorly timed, oh my god. Um, yeah, let's just take this guy out, quickly go, yeah, whoa, I was a little bit surprised because the second stage did not have a little mini section like this, you know, before the final boss of the stage, that's one, the one thing that I guess you could say I like better with the first <laughs> reboot here, <laughs> like, it's just a minor thing, but yeah, I think it was cool having, you know, a secondary, or you know, a final little short path here, before the boss, you know, just to have it a little bit more ominous. It was a nice little touch, I guess. And yeah, Astro Man here. Well, he's not called Astro, Astro Man. What is he called again? I don't know. I, I can't. I, I don't know. I never played Mega Man 8. I, I never recall this guy's name. I'm, I've called him Galaxy Man and yeah, all kinds of names from like Mega Man 9, I think, or 10. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not all that familiar with Mega Man 8 or with. Even 9 and 10, I guess, uh, apparently, but, yeah. Even though those, uh, even, even though Mega Man 9 and 10 are two of my favorite Mega Man games, like, I'm not super sure about bosses and, you know, which boss come from which game there, but, you know, I usually mix up Mega Man 9 and 10 bosses, you know, with each other, but, yeah, like, 
gimmicks and shit like that, you know, they were just so creative, I think, in those games, and the music, you know, music is, is just fantastic, it's above, like, the classic games, I'd say. Man. Oh. <laughs> he dived down there into the electric little <laughs> trap here, contraption. Oh, but yeah, as you can see, very cool stage overall. Uh, the first stage is definitely, definitely a lot easier than, or well, not perhaps a lot easier, but it is, is, it's quite a bit easier than the second one, which I guess makes sense because you know it's the first stage and the second stage should be harder. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's see what should we say here. Like the cutter section, it was all right. I thought that it could have perhaps introduced uh, the some more gimmicks a little bit earlier there, but you know that's that's just me. Um, I mean, I, I also realized that the spine enemies, you know, from Eggman 4 were going around in there and they also kind of acted like, like a gimmick of sorts, but yeah. Still though, um, the electric path or section definitely was very cool, you know, had had a few cool sections there, you know, with the Joker blocks and the Electalis going around in there. I definitely liked that one a lot. And my favorite one, the Time Bombs one, you know, with some tight ass platforming. <laughs> <laughs> there really is no other way to put it like it was just super tight and a lot of fun to go through definitely not aimed at beginners that for damn sure <laughs> but yeah like all in all a very very cool stage there and you know it will only get better <laughs> with the second part um, yeah it gets <laughs> it gets even better you know <laughs> so yeah um i will just see you then um thank you guys for watching and have a nice day